A phrase we're hearing more and more often is environmental health. To find out how our environment affects our health and what environmental tools can be used to maintain our health, we went to Wellness Effect in Phoenix, Arizona to talk with Dr. Renee Waldman. Environmental tools of health are using elements found in nature to recalibrate the person's energy field. What's beginning to, to occur is that as people are more further removed from the earth through insulating themselves in artificial environments, what that causes is discordant energy at the level of the physical body and mentally and emotionally. So in utilizing environmental tools of health, which we do at our clinic, we use color, light, sound, and aromas to recalibrate the person. Similar, similar as to when a person takes a vacation and they realize the enhanced sense of well-being due to, be, due to being close to the water, the negative ion effect of water, the sounds of nature, and due to our lack of exposure to full spectrum lighting, there are specific frequencies within the scale that we become deficient in, and we can actually use specific wavelengths to enhance healing and to provide that person that deficiency which is needed to enable them to heal. So sound is similar. Sound has been used even in ancient cultures and recognized for its therapeutic ability, but we're now using sound in a very scientific and specific way in exposing people to specific harmonics that enable the right and left hemispheres to balance, which is a big problem these days with people that are stressed and, and our children. But the, the sounds from ancient chants were used to balance hemispheres and induce alpha and theta brainwave frequencies, which are conducive to healing because of that parasympathetic amplification. Over time, what has occurred is as we become more distant from the earth through the, our buildings, our architecture, through the bombardment of electromagnetic energy, our technological age, we are constantly bombarded and overstimulated. And we are trying to adapt very quickly to how our lifestyle has radically changed. And I feel that it's really unnatural for who we are and how we're equipped as organisms to lead the life that we are now living, which is creating multitudes of health problems. And we find that when a person can move back into those natural rhythms and those natural calibrations of the earth, the diurnal cycle, and follow the light patterns that we were meant to experience and the rhythms of the water and the rhythms of nature and eating local food and staying away from highly refined foods and eating in accordance with the rhythm of the seasons. It's just amazing at how the healing capacity of the body will emerge quickly. However, we're so buffered from that at this point in time. And I am witness to it every day as patients come to me in my office and I find out that just their inability to sleep, their inability to relax can be restored with things as easy as sound, color, light, recalibrating to the Earth's frequencies.